everyone, Pegasus Angel here, and welcome back to my time at Portia, where today we're going to see what this Day of Memorials Festival is. Love on our new kitty kitty. Because we now have Pinky living in our house with us. And try to find out who Scraps is and get all these items back. Oh, can I pet her again? Will that still increase relationship points? Oh, every time you pet or hug. I don't want to irritate the crap out of her, though. Oh, it's so cute. Time to go do some stuff. But let's look at our, our relationship real fast here. Yay! So exciting. Okay. Let's go. All right. First off, I need to find uh, McDonald's Farm. Which is right there. And I'm here. So. That's to find it. Nope, I'm going in the wrong direction still. I got to go this way. I don't know where McDonald's farm is. I know I passed it one time. But it's hard to find. Open world games are rough sometimes. What's this? What is this? The heck? Still not going to McDonald's farm. I need to register for this. I don't know where you register, though. That must be it right over there. Hopefully McDonald's there, because i got to give him his thing. You're not McDonald, are you? No. Why am I swinging my axe? We got the llama over here. Mysterious man, yes. Store. Paw mat. No, I need the collar. No collar? Cat tag. 14,252. Tag it. It's going to be a while before I can get that. That really stinks. It should be McDonald's farm, right? Or McDonald's stable. There's fish here. Where am I at? Oh, I passed it. Ah, oh, I'm so bad at this game. Can I ask around, though? Can I talk to you? Guess not. Oh, it's a bus. And it takes me to Porsche, I bet. I'm just trying to find where McDonald's farm is. <sighs> so I didn't know you had a bus that could take you to Porsche. 
I thought it'd be quick travel, but no, it's a lot slower. Hey, where are we going? We're going in a tunnel. Help. Okay. No. All right, then. That wasted a lot of time I didn't need. A lot of unnecessary time. But maybe now I can find McDonald's farm. I don't think that's it. I think that's Sophie's, isn't it? Yeah. That's not it. This is Sophie's house. Uh, finding things in this game sometimes is just rough. I'm closer. We've got horses. Which I've not seen before. So... That's the stable, isn't it? Nope. That's Sophie. McDonald's home. Flip. Please be here. Of course he's not, because that would be too easy. Time to go back to town. I don't even know where you register for this ghost thingy. Day of Memories. I want to register. But I can't remember how you do it. Or where you go. Everybody's here. Hey, everybody's here. Martha... There we go. Thanks for coming, everyone. I personally think this is a very important day, worthy of our time. Before we get on with the planned events, Miss Lucy will speak a little about the history of the Day of Memori Memories. Miss Lucy? Hello, everyone. Whoa, such a big crowd. I'm getting kind of nervous now. I want to talk about how an event as serious as going for a grave visit turned into such a fun holiday. The Day of Memories used to be called Memorial Day back in the old world. It was a day to use to remember loved ones that had passed. When the Day of Calamity happened, many, many lives were lost. In the years immediately after the Day of Calamity, Memorial Day turned into a particularly sad event. Survivors not only remembered their loved ones, they also remembered the good days gone by. A leader of a group of survivors in Ethia decided to make it a day of hope instead of moping. So on the day of Memorial Day, he dressed up as a ghost and started a game of tag. Since it was a very dark underground, some people probably really did believe the leader to be a ghost. A few of them opened fire in self-defense. The leader died. Still, his legacy lived on. The idea of making Memorial Day into a day of hope soon spread to the neighboring survivors. He eventually became what the A Day of Memories is today. A day mixed with remembrance and excitement. Thank you, Miss Lucy, for an excellent account of the history of the Day of Memories. With that said, let's start with our events. Okay. Um. Two 
Two hours until Ghost Hunt Festival. There's a McDonald. Oh, oh, you found the milk jug. It looks kind of dirty, but that's okay. Thanks, buddy. Okay. What else do I got? I've got Remington shoes. Is that it? Oh. Gus's lamp. And Emily's bucket. I think I saw Emily in this. Do you... Gift exchange. Oh. Ooh. Oh, you have to have badges for it. How do you get badges? It's also for not forget to be thankful for those who have contributed to build the lives we have now. Okay. Tony, Martha, Polly. I talked to Gail. I know it's cliche, but if you sense danger, next time leave it to the professionals. I don't want to see any of our citizens hurt. Do we not have Emily? Or Remington? There's Emily. How to farm? Just grab the planter box and plant the seeds. That's all. Hey, that's my bucket. You took it back from the band of rats? Thank you so much. You're not hurt, are you? Here, take some eggs as my appreciation. And Remington. Sorry, I haven't seen Scraps in a while. He used to chew up my shoes. Sam and Arlo may have seen something on their patrols. Maybe ask them? My shoes! Aha! I was wondering where they went. Okay, what do I do? The lanterns look so pretty. How do I do this? There we go. At the beginning of the Day of Memo Memories event, there are several ghost badges scattered around the city. Participants need to compete with each other to find as many badges as possible. Time left until the festival ends. All regular intervals, new ghost badges will appear on the map. Represents the total number of metal count in town and the number that have been taken. Top three badge earners will show up here. If you're not in the top three, your name will be shown below. A scare soaker can be picked up around the city gates. It can be used to effectively deter an opponent's movements. The scare soaker cannot be taken outside city limits. It will be recollected when you head outside the city. At the end of the event, it will also be recollected. There are also some ghosts located in the city during the event. Be real careful if you're hit by a ghost or by a scare soaker from another participant. There's a possibility you'll lose some ghost badges, so dodge them at all costs. At the end of the event, a ranking-based multiplier will be applied to the ghost badges you have obtained. Ghost badges will then be given to the participants to trade for items. Okay. This is going to be fun, because I have no clue what I'm doing. The event is about to begin. Where do I need to go? So you have to find scare soaker or badges. What? Someone found a badge. Does it tell you where badges are? Oh, it does. Okay. Oof. Where's the badge? Ghost oh my gosh. Okay. I see what they are now. Okay, I didn't know what ghost badges were. 
I got hit. Did I lose my badge? Okay, I'm going the wrong way. I need to go this way. No! Golly! I'm trying to find where the ghost badges are. Okay. There's one by Martha's Bakery. There's one by Best Brother. Um, okay, cool. We got one by Best Brother and Total Tools, which I'm right by. Group photo. It said there was one by Best Brother and Total Tools. I got one. I don't know where my how many badges I have. Two? That's it? I've only got two. This is proving to be a hard thing. Missed me. Can I take their ghost badges? Like if I shoot them with the scare soaker thingy, do I not get their ghost badges? This is hard. They just keep going up. That thing's going to hit me. Gum it. How do you take the badges from them? Okay, so there's little spotlights that appear where the badges are. I'm seeing now. Someone got that one. Ugh. I stink at this game. Rip. The ghost hunt will end in 24 minutes. I am not getting anywhere. Uh, I only got two. Failed to place in the top three in this event. You earned two boat ghost badges. Set off the wishing lanterns. Where do we set off wishing lanterns? At least I got two ghost badges. It's not like the gift day where I didn't know what the frick I was doing at all. You really showed the thieves how manly you are. I did. Set off these wishing lanterns. I have one more. Whoops.
How do I do this? Where did my character even go? Okay. So you collect a wishing lantern. Oh my gosh! Quit coming up to me! Trying to set out or I'm trying to... Oh my word. I've already taken one. So where is it at? Oh. Okay. I need to look and see. The last thing I had was Gust Slamp. Ooh, I got a bunny wishing lantern too. Look at all these wishing lanterns I had. I didn't even realize. Where's Gust? Is Gust here? Gust! There he is. I think hunting for a ghost is just childish. Can I give him back his... Oh, it gave it to him. Okie doke. Or no, it didn't give it to him. I have to wait, I guess. Guess I'm going to have to wait. What do we do? Just stay here till we pass out? Here, I cooked you something, Polly. You're very generous. Tasteless broth. I need gust. There he is. Okay, guess I can't give him his his lantern. And now I have to try to get home before I pass out. Oh, I'm going to be forced passed out in a minute. Rip! <laughs> Dang it! I almost made it. Almost made it home. Oh, we get another day of memories, huh? Interesting. Anyway, that's where I'm going to leave it off for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it. If you didn't, leave a dislike. That's okay, too. Also, leave a comment down below because I do reply back to all comments. And if you like watching people have blind reactions to video games like this one, feel free to subscribe by hitting that logo that's going to pop in the middle of your screen in a minute. And check out the awesome live stream and other video down below. I hope you all have a good rest of the day. Bye, everyone.